Welcome to the first episode of my Minecraft PE modding tutorial series. So on my screen here, um, you can see four apps. Um, like actually on the screen, like I know I have my whatever. But um, so Droid Edit Free, Isopix, Mer Creator, and a File Manager. And you're gonna need at least three of these apps: Droid Edit. Isopix and the file manager. And um Merc Creator just makes custom items textures really easy. So let's get started with some actual code. Guys, so on your screen is the on my screen is the line of code that will add a custom item into your game. And I'm gonna be writing it out and then telling you guys what it does while I do that. So, bring up my fancy keyboard here. All right, so, mod p e dot set item. All right, so that is the code that Block Launcher uses to know what you're trying to do with the line of code that follows. So here we're going to be setting a custom uh, item ID number. If you don't know, each item in Minecraft has its own item ID number. So you want to use an item ID number that is not used and as not used yet in the game. And you can use like the wiki or like Minecraft PE wiki or something like that. Um, I use Pocket in Editor Pro. Because you can just go into search and then type in an item ID number. And if nothing comes up for that item ID number, then that works. I also sometimes I'll look at lists of items that are in the game. And um, I will uh, look for like a large gap if I want several. So that's the item ID number. Now the second part here after this comma is the name of the texture that we'll be using. Now, it doesn't exactly mean that we're going to be, that the item is going to look like that texture. Uh, I'll explain that later. So, this is experience, if I could spell, and I missed something. So, you got to be careful not to miss anything, because that will not work. Experience and then I think this one's the underscore. Yes, bottle. Then finish with a quotation mark. Then we put this zero in. And the zero, I'm not sure what the zero does actually. Uh huh, yeah. And then the second part here is we're actually going to name it. So experience bottle, we're going to be naming it um, water bottle. Or let's use a capital. And this is what the in-game name of the item will be. And then finish it with a parenthesis and a semicolon. semicolon. Alright, so that is the um, code you'll need to add a custom item. Now, I think we're... Um, so I'm going to go over and I'm going to show you guys how to set a custom texture for this um, item. So we are in the default texture pack of Minecraft right now, and there will be a download link in the description where you can get the um, the default texture. So you want to go into Assets, Images, and then over here to the Items, Upbrig, PNG, I believe is that's how it's pronounced. Now what you want to do is you want to copy it, and then we're going to go over to the Merc Creator, or whatever, Merc, or whatever this is called. 
And here's some items from some stuff. So in your Merc Creator file, I don't know what it's actually called. I'll look it up. But there should be three folders. And I think you're probably going to have to add one, or actually all three maybe, when you first get that. But there'll be input, output, and unstitch. So what you're going to do is you're going to go into input, and here's some stuff I've used. But you're going to paste the items operate PNG in here. So now we're going to go to the Merc Creator app. In the Merc Creator app, and we're going to hit unstitch items up. The, you know, unstitch that, hit that one. Okay, so it's going to unstitch it, and then we're going to go back to the file browser. So what we're going to do is we're going to go to unstitch, and then go to items. And here are all the individual items, including, including some that are not in the game, such as the blaze rod and blaze powder, and stuff like that. So, um, yeah, there's just a bunch of items in here. And this is how we're going to set the custom textures. So now we're going to need to go to uh, something from a custom mod. Uh, but we're going to need to go to the um, Isopix app now. So we're now in the Isopix app. So what we're going to need to do is we're going to need to go over here. Bring that up because that's not working. We're going to need to go to File, and then we're going to hit Load Image. All right, so now it's going to bring us here, and we're going to go down to the... Uh, pay no attention. Where is it? Uh, if I could spell, I went past it. Uh, here it is. Merc Creator. All right, so then we're going to go into Unstitch, then Items. Now, here you see all the names of the items that we just looked at. So we're going to go down to the um, let's see, where is the Experience bottle. Here it is. So now we're going to have the little teeny tiny experience bottle here. So now we can take this and we can make it look like a water bottle, like in the Ultra Hardcore mod. So what you can do is, as you can see, um, you have all the little pixels. These are each one pixel, one little teeny tiny pixel. And if you've ever used like a skin editor, then it should be pretty easy for you. Just, you know, add, tap on the pixel whoops, that you want to change. And then it will change the color of that pixel to whatever color that you've selected. And this is a really good app, especially for free for doing custom item textures. It works perfectly, especially for a free app, for doing custom item textures. Um, let's do a color for a kind of a cork in it or something. Um, that looks cool. So we can kind of do something like that. And then uh, water, we can select a larger size if we just want to do it in large sections here blue hold on that's not right that's more like it and then make it look kind of cool put a little whoops that on it to make it kind of look like a glimmer and this part around the edge we're going to remove because that's not, that's like supposed to be, I guess, like a shine or I guess a glimmer off of the, um, there we go. See water bottle and then we'll just go in here, go to file, save image save and hit OK. Now we're going to go back to the Mercreator app. 
creator app and go to stitch items up yeah whatever that thing's called and uh, this comes up every time but it works so yeah all right so we go into the output file in the Merc Creator folder, and then we'll have our items. And then we go into gallery just to take a look. And over here is, if we can zoom, is our little water bottle we added. So if you take this and you copy it, go to back to your texture pack and you go back into images and you hit paste and overwrite whenever you have an item with the item ID of 222 in your inventory it will then look like a um, a water bottle and it will also have the name of a water bottle guys um, to get the uh, name for that texture that you want to use in your uh, to use the texture of um, you go to the Merc Creator, go to the unstitch and then the items and then here all of these items are gonna have a name so here's the experience bottle that we retextured as a water bottle and whoops. Okay, if we select it and then go to rename. See you need see it's experience underscore bottle. Now that is what you're gonna put in the experience underscore bottle, not the PNG part for your custom texture. So I hope you enjoyed that tutorial. It's probably a little bit longer than my normal videos, but yeah, it's a lot to cover, especially with the custom textures. So I think. For this tutorial series, I'm going to make a dirt tools mod. So I'm uh, off camera real quick. I'm going to do a custom item called the dirt stick. And it's going to replace the blaze rod texture pack with a stick that uses like dirt colors. And then in the future episodes, I'll show you how to add crafting recipes and like functions for the tools and all kinds of other crazy stuff. So I hope you guys enjoyed and we're gonna and I, if you guys like the series then let me know leave a like stuff like that thanks for watching guys